TV! In Australia, there is a group of men. Men who have hairy chests. Men who have huge muscles. Men who rant. Men who gearbox. Men who stab lawnmowers with screwdrivers. Men who don't know what the small knife and fork are for. These are men from Performance Forums, otherwise known as PF. One day, one of these men found something wrong on the internet. Something very, very wrong. A Ford Taurus. But not just any old horrible Ford Taurus. One so ugly, even eBay made it hard to find in the hope that nobody would see it. But as it happened, these men found it and decided to buy it so they could burn it to the ground to make the world a better place and restore order. So, a short time later, the Taurus was in their hands and plans were made to put it out of its misery. Once the car was purchased, it was tested thoroughly for its ability to do smoky burnouts and it failed badly. <laughs> I think that's all you're going to get, dude. Give it up. Alright, well here we have this, the world's stupidest, ugliest car. I'll give you a little bit of a walk around some of the special features this thing has. Uh, a little bit of factory headlight fluid. Some nice classy fiberglass detailing there. Some awesome bonnet scooping going on. And of course the legendary longevity of fiberglass. Right. So, how functional are these scoops? As you can see, not very. Neither's the bonnet actually. We have some sort of V6 motor. Uh, really doesn't have enough power to even get out of its own way. Completely standard. Bit of detailing around the battery there. Fuck, that's classy. Another scoop. Don't really know what that's for. And of course, those stock wheels, man, they really set it off. backyard. I don't know what they were planning with this, but <laughs> weighs twice as much as standard due to all the fiberglass. Alright, we need a fuel filler. I reckon about there's the right spot. What could go wrong? was then taken to the Performance Forum's WRC style test facility to see how it'd go. Maybe it still works with amazing. We should find the fuse for that. Cannot describe that, that pure <laughs> joy. <laughs> uh, progress report is. The Taurus is actually completing full laps of our circuit here, which is both surprising and disappointing. So we need to find something a little bit more challenging for it, I think. That's that's achieving and that's just not on. You know, this thing really needs to struggle with what we're doing. This time though, the testing had been done and numerous debates were had as to how this car should be killed. 
it was decided that the car would go to Canberra. Along the way, other freeway users were often unsure as to what the Taurus was and were also horrified by how ugly it was. Once there, PF experts were going to have it blown up by other experts who knew some experts that were able to organise experts. This unfortunately didn't happen though and a backup plan was put into place. The Taurus is loaded up and taken north towards Coffs Harbour where it would meet its maker at a local quarry. There's a bit left. I'm Fat Tremolo. How you doing? Nelson, I'm not responsible. I'm South Africa. Murray, Big Mars. No, don't, don't use that place. It seems that uh, this is a bit of a waste. I don't think we should burn it. I've changed my mind. <laughs> How many cars went into the making of this car? And I always thought that it must have been intended to have big tyres, but the whole inner guard, that the existing car is still underneath. <laughs> so you can't put a wide tyre on it. Like, that was intended. That's how we wanted it to look. Oh, perfect. That's pretty good. I just want it to be uh, to look its best. It's got to. Oh, it should be a no, pedal beater. No. Jeez, mate, watch the runs. It's got all the value. Ah, oh, bugger it. <laughs> After being carefully unloaded from the trailer. Resident idiot and test pilot Muzz was on hand to do a pre-burn drivetrain test. Nevertheless, things were being put into place ready for the barbecue and everyone was at the ready to combat what could have been the biggest fibreglass and bog fire Australia's east coast had seen. What could go wrong?
So there you have it, one perfectly horrible Ford Taurus turned into the world's ugliest car and punished because of it. Performance Forums delivers the goods again. Better than Sam Lawson.